In this video, we're going to be having a look at Bunk making a historical breakout right here on the daily time frame. And of course, of course, of course, on the weekly time frame right here, this is a massive, massive, massive continuation from the previous pump. And the big question is, will Bunk break this and pretty much enter price discovery? Let's have a look right here at the crypto bubble real quick. Bunk is currently leading the pump today up 22.5 percent yes we got doge xrp and aioz right here but bunk is one of the top two cryptocurrencies in the top 100 right here with the highest gains in the last 24 hours h bars up 20 percent but bunk 23.2 percent with the market cap sitting at 2.29 billion dollars uh we did have a nice little correction earlier which we're gonna get to that in just a second but pretty much this was the correction where bunk did have a nice little cup and the big question is, are we going to make a cup and handle type formation right here? Because it seems like the stock RSI is getting a little bit overbought. Uh, Bitcoin is closing in green, it looks like. So we're going to be having a look at that. Bitcoin did have a nice little target at 82,850. Uh, Bitcoin came as low as that. But of course, this video is about bunk. So let's have a look right here on CoinGecko before having a look at some analysis. So bunk right here, volume. Can we just talk about the volume, guys? I mean, this is a really, really greenish dildo worth of volume right here two billion dollars worth of volume in the last 24 hours i mean are you guys out of your mind mark cap sitting at 2.2 billion dollars so we got almost 100 percent of the mark cap currently being traded which is pretty darn good of course circling supply you guys already know quadruple zero three two eight eight that's the price of bunk sitting at a mark cap of 2.2 billion dollars of course this is on solana we know solana has been exploding solana will keep on exploding and that's about it is it altcoin season yet Look at this, guys. The altcoin season index currently sitting at 33. If we have a look right here, I don't know why this is highlighted, but if we have a look right here, we could see that the altcoin index did come to as high as 33, 39. Sorry. What does an altcoin season mean? Well, in order for an altcoin season uh, to happen, 75% of the top 50 coins need to perform better than Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is currently right here. We need to see a little bit more um, in order to see an altcoin season. We also need to see the Bitcoin dominance pretty much drop down. So let's have a look right here. This is the Bitcoin dominance right here, currently sitting at 60.39%. You can see the growth on the Bitcoin dominance has been literally so good. A lot of money has and is flowing into altcoins. So we could see right here, we did have a nice little dump right here on the Bitcoin dominance came down to as low as 58.5%, but the Bitcoin dominance is not going without a fight. Bunk right now currently up 25%. Let's talk about this breakout right here on Bunk real quick. So this is the breakout right here on the weekly time frame. And before I have a look on the weekly and daily, I do want to have a look at what's happening right now because we are on a 30 minute time frame or on the daily time frame zoomed in. Uh, but I do want to have a look right here on the 30 minute time frame real quick because Bunk is obviously, I don't want to say about to crack an all time high, but we're about to break the previous high on the daily time frame so we could see right here if this does hold right here we could potentially see some sort of bearish divergence or actually this is not even a bearish divergence but if we see right here stock rsi making a higher high which is not really possible because the stock rsi right here is the highest that it could be but if this does make it in indeed a higher high something like that then we could possibly see a bearish divergence but I, honestly guys i'm not really i, I don't think we're going to see some sort of bearish divergence i don't think we're going to see something like that um on bonk but look at that we did have a nice beautiful double bottom right here as you guys can see we had a nice little w pattern boom broke the neckline and pretty much exploded past it so this is on a 30 minute time frame nothing too crazy but it is crazy at the same time because 24 percent is pretty darn big in my opinion if we have a look right here on the daily time frame there's a few things that bonk needs to do so yes bonk did break this nice little level right here okay so obviously this was a very crucial important and resistance level as you guys can see right here we did have a nice little double topic before pretty much coming back down that was the neckline of it and uh we came back down had a nice little v recovery shape and i guess you could say this was a inverse head and shoulder right here and of course exploded past it so you guys can see right here bonk currently up 26 percent. this thing keeps on uh coming up now the resistance level that i'm looking at if we close below this or above this resistance level right here i think that we're most likely going to see a continuation all the way to the previous all-time high if not we could see a two to three day correction that doesn't mean we're going to come back down all the way down but we could pretty much consolidate that's that on the weekly time frame it looks like the weekly time frame we're going straight right here into price discovery mode all the way to triple zero one uh we're gonna have to see what happens but can bunk really 10x maybe maybe not but i do think that we could enter price discovery maybe 3x in the next few weeks three forex i think we could see something like that because we know what happens when crypto does enter price discovery we usually shoot up and uh, pretty much have a nice little blow off top come back consolidate correct distribute and then 
uh, continue off. So I wouldn't go too crazy on the leverage right now because if Bitcoin does dump the same way we saw right here, then we could obviously see um, Bonk come down. So Bitcoin is looking overbought overall, and we do have the CME gap right here on the daily time frame. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Of course, not only do we have the CME gap, but we also have the golden pocket, which is a 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is a pretty key important level for Bitcoin and uh, on the Fibonacci retracement as well. So not only do we have the Bitcoin, the golden pocket, but we also have the CME gap. So this is definitely something that you want to keep an eye on. And uh, pretty much that's about it. So bond guys overall looking pretty good. 30 minutes is looking good. 15 minutes is looking good. This W pattern is looking very good in my opinion. Yes, stochastic RSI were a little bit uh, oversold. But the RSI is looking good right here. We did have a nice little uh, bounce off it right here. So we did have, again, a double bottom on the regular um, RSI. Broke below it, broke back above it. As soon as we broke back above the you know, moving average on the RSI, that was pretty much a bullish indicator. You probably could have bought right here. And assuming you are using you know, 5x leverage on Bonk, it would have been up a pretty darn good amount, right? You would have been up over 50% if you were doing that, close to 65%. So... Uh, that's pretty darn good depending on how much money how much leverage you're using you could have been up a thousand a hundred and thirty percent sorry if you pretty much um were using a 10x leverage but i don't recommend this is my video if you guys do want to trade by the way with leverage make sure you guys click on my link in the description below uh, you could get up to a ten thousand dollar bonus and if you guys do like this video don't forget to smash that subscribe button leave a like and i will see you guys in my next video tomorrow <laughs>